But hang on, Lucille Furs with Carrie and Judy. Another great song by them. I just love their stuff because they're, they're so like like retro to the 60s and 70s and they make it sound really, really good. I really, really enjoy that one. Yeah, there's not enough whistling in songs, <laughs> is there? Oh, I mean, I, I absolutely love that beginning and the vocals are very, very sexy. I mean, it's echoey, narrative. It's got like a, it's just really playful and it's got like a silky smooth feel to that. I just, yeah, I kind of love that. It's really good. Right on. Well, guess what? Next up we have Brand New Manipulant. Oh, I like so, it. So I'm very excited. So the new album comes out March 26th and it's going to be released on Submarine Broadcasting Company. It's called Perspective. So we have a song off this album called Chivaresque, which is, uh, in my eyes, on, on, on that album, the best one. But uh, you know, that's, that's uh, up for discussion for anybody who listens to it and picks it up because it's well worth it. So here we go with Manipulant, with pers uh, well, off the new uh, album come out on the 26th called Perspective. This one's called Chivaresque. Dig this. I see you.
Oh, right on. That was Manipulant with, uh, <clears throat> with Silver Esque from his new uh, album, Perspective, which comes out on the 26th. And you know, I really do like it. I, I love all his stuff because it, it is it is different. And I love the, the different uh, um, organization to the songs he does because it, it's always like, it seems almost like it's like far out there and all over the place, but in a good way. But I really, really enjoy it. And it's always a nice change to, to what else is going on in the music world itself. Yeah, there's always great diversity to his work. Um, I mean, I found the vocals really kind of seductive, drawing you in and mysterious. There was like an 80s feel for me, which is a good thing, not in a bad way. And, you know, the, his stuff is always cleverly experimental. It's not just, you know, it, it's almost, I, I think he, re I don't know, but I think he really plans things and and really thinks it through it's how it feels to me and and i think he puts a lot of emotion and a lot of himself into it because that's how mm. it comes across to me which is really cool um and he's another one who's super super good on social media he's really supportive he he does the circle and i you know i love that i love artists that you know, uh, you know, give back and and kind of push and you know that it, it, it's all about us all working together, isn't it? And I I love that. And he's he's just, fan, you know, fascinating, interesting, mm. exciting, and fun. You know, brilliant. Well, right now, well, we have time for one more, and this is a new one by this Human Condition off their new P Transectory. We played this one off last week. So dig this. This one's called Disco Bunny. Dig this. Pure joy dancing on the 
streets, sing it free. free. Positivity, sing it free. Right on. This Human Condition with Disco Bunny. This is author of a new EP. And you know what? I really, really like these guys. I mean, they're 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 so uh, 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 media social involved, and the music great. I mean, the mixing is awesome, and they're on Facebook all thing, on a, a tons of pictures all the times. But these guys, guys are really good. They're so much fun, and I really, really dig the music. I mean, that was a great tune, and we debuted the the, the single which uh, they suggested last week uh, uh, off their new P Transactory. So, yeah, great tune. Loved it. Yeah, they're they're funny, funky, freaky, catchy, and they they they're another kind of band that that just I kind of do their thing, you mm-hmm. know. They 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 they're not frightened to kind of challenge the listener, and I like that. I love that actually. I think that's what it's about. It's about you know showing yourself, do it as you want to do it, because actually the listener does respond and. Right does like that you know they want something new they want something different and that just shows that and rock and roll well not even rock and roll brilliant for right. them i mean it's wicked right on well that's new for nms part two and b like always thank you so much for joining us and helping us out i appreciate it, especially since it was uh like pretty much uh, last minute so i do appreciate that and i'm sure the listeners do as well because they love listening to your comments but we'll be keeping in touch and talk to you soon and the next uh, two weeks are going to be super busy because next week is our, our in between for Mike and I. So there'll, there'll be no interview next week, but the week following the 17th, we'll be interviewing Indeed. And next week, possibly, possibly depending on Mike's time, we might do a quick Friday Night Rocks with uh, Chris Mack before Chris and I and Kim go to the, the Body Jar show. So we'll see what happens with that. But that okay, aside, well, can I just say? Can I just say it's always a pleasure because I absolutely love it. You know, so anytime, you know, I like to make myself available for you. <laughs> <laughs> Check, please. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. Not <laughs> a way to finish. Please, please, are we done? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Wait, come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> until next time, this has been Dr. Bones and Forgotten B. Uh, for new starting, I will be back next Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Till then, Bones out. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We'll talk to you soon.